I'm here at the Burlington Police Department where a suspect in Sunday night's attempted kidnapping was just brought in for arraignment. We go now to Chief Thomas Brown for statement. Today, uh, through tireless efforts of the Burlington Police Detective Unit, along with our partners with the State Police Violent Fugitive Apprehension Section in the Winthrop Police Department, Burlington Police Detectives were able to secure an arrest warrant today, uh, charging Tyler Healy, uh, 23 years old, with four crimes. Uh, the crimes that were listed on the arrest warrant were the attempt to commit a crime, the crime of kidnapping, assault with intent to rape, assault with intent to commit a felony, and indecent assault and battery on a person 14 or older. He is right now being held in our department. He is being booked on these charges, as I've just laid out to you, uh, and he will be set to be arraigned sometime tomorrow in the Woburn District Court, presumably after 9 o'clock in the morning. According to the Burlington Police, on Sunday, May 8th at approximately 8.20 p.m., they received a 911 call from a woman who reported stopping her vehicle after seeing a female victim being dragged away on foot by a male suspect on Middlesex Turnpike near Great Meadow Road. In a surveillance video, you can see a woman walking on the far side of the street with the alleged suspect, later identified by police as Healy, walking behind. At one point, the attacker runs up behind the victim and appears to try to tackle her. The suspect holds on to the woman as they both walk through the intersection. During the struggle, the 911 caller stops her vehicle and the suspect flees the scene. Chief Brown said the victim and Healy did not know each other and that he hopes such a random act of violence is a reminder to everyone to stay cautious and vigilant. Uh, I'm sure this puts some shock and awe through the community. I know it did for myself. Burlington has always been a very safe community. And hopefully this gives a wake-up call to all of us. Now, I will say the victim in this case did nothing wrong. She's minding her own business trying to walk home, and she ends up being the victim of this senseless, violent act. And what I'm hoping this does is puts a wake-up call for all of us, myself included, that we need to be vigilant, that this was a crime of opportunity, and we need to make sure that we take those opportunities away from people like this. Finally, Chief Brown said he is grateful to everyone who participated in the investigation that led to Tuesday's arrest and that he is most thankful to the Good Samaritan who stepped in and the victim herself for acting bravely in the face of danger. I can't thank my partners enough with between the Bedford Police Department and uh, the Essex County Sheriff's Office coming down with their canine on Sunday night uh, and the Winthrop and State Police Departments today as well as the Burlington Detectives. But I really have to thank the victim in this case and the 911 caller. Uh, the victim, as I'm sure you've all seen the video, put up the fight of her life. Luckily, she was able to get the assistance from the 911 caller who pulled over and put herself into harm's way, potentially acting uh, without due regard for her safety, and her acts were selfless. And thankfully, uh, we brought this to a successful conclusion, and nobody else had to go through this senseless act. From the Burlington Police Department, I'm B News Director Rich Hosford.